welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing fantastic today. Today we are doing a Flashback Friday tutorial. If you are new here and you don't know what Flashback Friday is, basically I take a few older, somewhat older eyeshadow palettes from my collection. I post some pictures on Instagram and Facebook and ask you guys to vote for which one you want to see me do a tutorial on. This is just such a great way to use the palettes you already have in your collection. Maybe you're on a no buy. It's just a great I don't know, I think it's really fun and I love like interacting with you guys and having you guys vote and it's so exciting to see which palette wins. So definitely make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook because that's where I usually post the voting. Carly Bible Deluxe Edition Eyeshadow Palette collaboration with Beach Cosmetics. This is a beautiful palette. I love this for just an everyday look or very glammed up look. I wanted to really incorporate the top row of shadows so that's what I'm wearing on my eyes and I wanted to do a really bold orange coral coral <laughs> I swear to you every time I like talk about coral blushes I think about The Walking Dead and the way that he says coral coral oh poor Carl so if you guys want to see how I did this makeup look then definitely keep watching as always the products will be listed down below in the description box and if you guys want to see more of these flashback Friday tutorials make sure to give this video a really big thumbs up share it with your friends share it with your girlfriend <laughs> and uh let's get into this tutorial right here all right so let's get started i already primed my eyes so i'm taking the matte nude shade the lightest shade in the palette and i'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush i usually do a voiceover because i get distracted too easily so we'll see how this goes this might be a disaster. I'm just going to pat this all over my lid and up to the brow. Alright, next I'm going to take this shade right here. It's a really nice matte kind of orangey nude. And I'm just going to go back and forth in the crease. Lay this down as my transition color. Taking that same color, I'm just going to apply that to the lower lash line. This is the e.l.f. contour brush. One of my favorites for the lower lash line. And I'm just blending that. Same row, I'm gonna go to the next matte shade. This is just slightly warmer, it's deeper. And I'm just gonna use this to darken up the crease. Gonna kind of deepen it up, just really get in that eye socket. Blend that out of V through the crease, down here towards the lid. Going back in with that first blending brush and I'm not going to add any additional product. I'm just going to take that back over with whatever's on the brush and just kind of blend out those edges again. Taking the 128 brush, I think I'm going to take this brown shade right here from the bottom row. It's a matte shade. I'm going to place this on the outer V to darken it up. Just going to go a little bit in the crease. I want to keep this very close to the outer corner here. And I'm also going to bring that down on the lower lash line. And then going in with my favorite little tiny blending brush. This is the e.l.f. crease brush. It's really itty bitty tiny. And I'm just going to go in very soft circular motions to blend that brown. Just going along the edges. I want to keep it right where it is. I think I'm going to take this color right here. It's the very last shade at the top row. It's freaking beautiful. It has this almost... Gold. Oh my god, look at that gold shift. I'm going to pat that on the lid right there where it's blank. And I'm going to wet it, so I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of my Wet n Wild setting spray. Oh my god, that color. Oh, that color is so pretty. I'm going to go back in with that matte nude shade and just highlight that brow bone with that matte shade. Just taking that brown shade, no additional product. Just gonna touch up that outer V here. All right, I'm gonna take the Essence Gel Eyeliner Pencil in Cocoa Bean. This has been sadly discontinued, but any brown eyeliner will do. So I'm gonna add this to my, um, I'm gonna tight line and add it to my waterline as well. So I'm taking the e.l.f. Small Angled eyeliner brush and I'm going to take the darkest shade in the palette which is this matte brown right here and I'm just going to line my upper 
lash line instead of doing a wing liner because you guys know I wear a lot of black eyeliner I really want to get some colored liner or liquid liner because I always wear black and that's the only thing I really have all right so to highlight in our corner I think I'm gonna go with this golden shade right here I don't use this shade very often but I'm just gonna pick some of that up on my pencil brush this is the E124 from the AOA studio line Ooh, oh yeah that's very golden I think I'm also going to mix in a little bit of this highlighter shade right here. Just add a little extra pizzazz. Alright, so that's everything for the shadow. I'm going to go ahead and pop on some mascara and lashes and I will be right back to show you the finished eye look. Alright, so here is the finished eye look. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish off the flay. Since we're using a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, I thought, why not pull this out? This is the Forever Nude sculpt and glow palette and i'm in the shade light medium i haven't used this in a really long time so i'm going to use the bronzer and also a little bit of the contour and just kind of warm up the skin tone a little bit so i'm just going to add a little bit of the bronzer just to kind of warm things up and this is the f20 brush one of my favorite brushes for bronzer favorite bronzer brush and then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the contour shade on a smaller brush. This is the F13. And I'm just adding a little bit. Moving on to blush. I'm going to use one of my favorite palettes right now. This is the BH Cosmetics Blush to Go 4 Color Blush Palette. I love this little thing. These are so pigmented and smooth. They're just... Oh, these are so good. I'm going to take this shade right here, which is my favorite right now. If I want a sort of like coral shade with a beautiful golden shimmer, this one is so pretty. Look how pigmented. And I am using a new brush. This is the LA Colors. I think this is called the Blush Brush. And I am obsessed. And of course, for a highlighter, we have to use one of these gorgeous highlighters from the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette. I really want to use this shade, but sometimes it's a little too dark, but we'll see. Let's just, I'm going to take a little bit of this really pretty large pan here. It's this nice golden color. So, ooh, okay. Okay, that's really pretty. So with the light hand and a buffing motion, you can make this work if you're like around my skin tone. Oh my god, I think this will look so pretty on like everyone. So to finish everything off, I'm going to take this powder here from Hard Candy and just buff over everything to smooth everything out. It's something I've been trying out lately. I know a lot of people do this technique, the buffing technique. So I'm trying it out. <laughs> this is from Hard Candy. I don't know if I like this product or not, but this is their Fair to Light. That's the shade I'm in. This is, comes in different shades. This is the Color Corrector Finishing Powder. And it has like this sort of multicolored mosaic pattern inside. See, it's like different colors. And I'm just going to take the Away Studio Foam Ink Powder Brush. This is the F21. I'm just going to swirl my brush in there. And then I'm just going to buff over everything. Okay, that actually did blur and like give that kind of almost filter effect to my skin. Okay, I'm not mad. I'm not mad, that actually worked really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and set everything with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I think this is called the Natural Finish Spray now. I don't know. I don't know if they changed the name on everything. But I'm going to set my face and then for the lips today, I think I'm going to go for something really bold and different. And since that lid color, I felt so inspired by this lipstick, you guys. I already did a swatch video. These are the AOA Studio Wonder Matte Lipsticks. Um, that video will be coming very soon <laughs> so stay tuned for that but this is in the shade muse it's a super bright coral pinkish red but it has gold shimmer it's so pretty i'm going to pair it with the ColourPop lip liner in julep
Alright guys, so here is the finished look for my Flashback Friday tutorial. I really love how this look turned out. I knew immediately um, when this palette was voted the winner, I knew I wanted to do something very spring, very bright. So that is everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed this Flashback Friday tutorial. If you want to participate in the voting process, make sure you're following me on Instagram and sometimes I will also let you guys know on like Snapchat and Facebook as well. All of my social media links are in the description box as well as all of the products I'm wearing. I will also link all of those in the description box as well so definitely check that out for a full list of products. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new video. And I upload them every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.